Hello YouTube, it's been a long time and today I'm reviewing the Internet Intercontinental Beijing Sandy Twin. Today I got a twin bedroom. It's the most basic ones of the this hotel. I paid around 1,500 RMB per night. So before I entered the sleeping area, there's a some kind of Buddhist art here in the entrance and you got a full body mirror on the left the toilet on the left with a water closet telephones and a little sink with I then with the identical burrito toiletries here so yeah you can turn the knob counterclockwise to switch to hot water but the water pressure is mediocre and strangely the bus stop just lies flat over here before entering the sleeping area this is quite similar to the one i reviewed in fuzhou I got a Honeywell AC control panel, plenty of power sockets, a little cove for the wardrobe, like a walk-in closet. I got um, take me home, but the Chinese means you have to pay first. I got uh, two sets of bathrobes the Chinese standard fire mask, the iron and the iron board, the umbrella. Uh, you got some storage over here, a shoe shine service, shoe horn and slippers. You got a little chop safes, safe, and some empty storage here for your extended vacation or business travel, a intercontinental Beijing Sandy Tun tote bag, and nothing over there. So let's check out what's in the bus stop area. It got a little QR code for environmental protection two more burrito uh, hand wash and body lotion uh, plenty of blanketed plenty of towels over there hair dryers a little sink hiding there and a stylish square sink and a little drawer for dental kit shaving kit and Cotton, so cotton cups, cotton swaps, and uh, two free water over there. A makeup mirror, some hangers, and a scale that lights up automatically. And in the shower area, you got a shower heads, a mirror for you to investigate yourself during the shower and burrito products pretty nice granite uh, floor everywhere grayish very stylish i like it and over here is it's the sleeping area with two beds uh, two twin beds more precisely you got a night light control some comfort settings I got a little lamp, I don't know how to turn it on, a little clock, and I think it's a alarm clock. Uh, some USB charging port hiding over there. And yeah, let's turn on the master light. And here's a, another side. I got a little nice gift of the traditional masks for uh, Oprah 
and the telephone standard and more water a wireless charging pad very very nice to have and the shear controls waiting lights and bright mode okay never mind here's the little light lit up uh, a more stylish light over here I think the designing language is the same and you have some quite abstract uh, diagonal art over there on the that side here's a little sofa bed and let's check out the view uh, the view is not so great because you are facing the offices in the Beijing Soho Beijing Sanitan Soho area and I think they are very likely to look you through uh, if you let up like this so I need to lower the share quickly and here's a little Uniqlo flagship store over there at the Sunny Twin. And the little working area, you got a welcome letter, got a smiley face, uh, thank you for helping us to improve. You got a no Facebook, no Instagram, friendly notice. And here in the box, you got sets of stationeries, which is very good. And here's a very stylish holder for the in-room dining QR codes. And no smoking. I think this is the this is the cable. And the empty box over here, some reading materials. And here's a bookshelf. I believe this is the yeah, this is the like souvenirs. Got the paper, paper, headed papers, envelopes, and postcards. And lastly, here's the TV and acoustics speaker. And a welcome information. Some more art over there. And here's the mini bar. So the check-in staff told me everything up on the this level is free, but over here is not free. But I I think they are essentially the same. And here's a very local cider made by Hawthorne. Here's a Nespresso machine. Good to have. And this is the tools, some local menu, and here's the price list, tea bags, and yeah, so these are also not free, as per the check-in staff, and the mm, cups, and lastly, a water kettle. So what's, what's hiding here? Probably nothing. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Another quick room tour episode of the Beijing Sunli Twin Internet Intercontinental Hotel here in China. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one soon. Cheers.